Okay, so this is Andy Branton from Commonwealth Pro Audio in Louisville, Kentucky, USA. So today we're going to take a look at an output transformer that appears to be bad and then uh, validate that the test we use to 100% determine it's bad is actually telling us something valuable by repeating that test on a known good output transformer. Okay, so here I have got an output transformer out of a Marshall clone. It's a, a Seriotone branded amplifier. And so um, the complaint the customer had was that um, regardless of, of any sort of changes you made to the amplifier, um, no matter what you did, you got this like weak distorted sound. So uh, we got the primary here on this side. Okay, we got three wires here. And uh, I don't really care about the primary right now, okay? What I am interested in is the secondary. So the secondary has got um, a, a comm wire, right? Which is our little black wire here. And then we've got um, green, yellow, and orange, which uh, is the four, eight, and 16 ohm taps. So uh, the yellow wire is our eight ohm tap, which is great. So we're gonna just put a little bit of voltage into this thing, a little bit of electricity, and uh, we're gonna see that uh, if it's pulling current or not. So the idea being if it's pulling current, that something internally is wrong. So in order to do that test, I've got to have the unit under test, right? This guy, um, a variac that we can uh, put the correct voltage out that we want, and then our handy voltmeter. So I've got the variac off, very important to start with it off. Um, and I've got it plugged in to just a power strip on my bench, and I made a nice um, sort of janky little power cable kind of thing that we're going to use for this test, right? So this is our output on our Variac. We're going to hook this little guy up. Um, I just touched the adjuster on this, so I had it set correctly before I started the video. We'll see if it's still right. Um, this is our neutral, and this is our line, and then the ground wire was here, and I snipped it because we don't need it. So what we're going to do is first we're going to make sure that we are putting out the voltage we want. So I want to be putting out um, 3.25-ish volts AC. So I'm going to measure that on my voltmeter. So I'm going to hook up um, the line to the black lead just because, and I'm going to hook up, uh, or sorry, the neutral to the black lead. Uh, and then I'm going to hook up the line to the red lead, again, sort of just because that's the way my brain thinks about them, and that's the way we're going to hook them up. All right, so not worried about the transformer right now. All right, we want to keep these two things separately. We do not want them to touch. That would be terrible. All right, so we're going to turn this on to AC. You can see that, hopefully. Boop. Okay, great. Now we took cut the variac on. We should see three-ish volts AC. 3.237-ish volts AC. That's good enough for this test. That's close enough. All right, let's cut it off. And now let's get to the fun part. So I want to put 3.24-ish volts AC into the secondary of this transformer on the 8-ohm tap and see what happens. So a good transformer, I would not see a voltage drop. I would see um, that when I cut the variac on, 3.2 volts AC was being measured on my meter, and everything was good. So we're gonna, we want to keep in mind the relationship between current and voltage. So as uh, current draw increases, voltage drops. So the idea is if something has gone wrong in here and this transformer pulls current, I will be able to infer that it's pulling current by seeing the voltage drop on my meter. So again, yellow is our 8 ohm tap. And black is our comm, so we'll hook that up. And yellow, we're going to go to our line. Black, we will run to our neutral. Um, all right, great. So we've got our things hooked up. They're not touching. This is a short test. We'll make sure these things aren't touching. Okay, everything's hooked up. So we know uh, previously we were putting out about 3.2, 3.23-ish, 3.24-ish volts AC. I am on the um, 8 ohm tap of this guy, so let's see what happens when I cut the variac on. oof -da, look at that. 1.89 volts AC, 1.9 volts AC. So again, keep in mind that because I am seeing a drop in voltage, right, I must therefore be pulling current. Okay, while it's hot, I can actually unhook some things and demonstrate this for you. So this is our comm wire, right? So just very carefully, one hand, right? I'm going to reach in here and just grab it, 
open it up, let off of it, bam, 3.23 volts AC. We're right back. So you can see this transformer, definitely bad and pulling current. Now, um, had it passed on the 8 ohm tap, um, that wouldn't necessarily indicate that the transformer were good. It could just mean that the 8 ohm, 8 ohm tap, for some reason, is not compromised, right? So um, I could repeat this test with a different voltage AC um, on the 4 ohm and 16 ohm taps to verify that the secondary is good. Um, that might be a way that, that I might have gone. But I already know previously um, when I was messing around and troubleshooting the amp, I knew that something was wrong with the 8 ohm tap. So um, I, I cheated a little bit. we are going to validate that an output transformer is good. So I've got a variac, got an output transformer, got a voltmeter, and then I've got some various things I made. So first, this variac is just like some cheap Chinese thing, and we want to, we don't have a great way of knowing what our um, output actually is on it, so we're gonna do some readings to verify that. So I wanna put about 3.25 volts AC um, into this transformer here. So um, I've got my little cable here with a couple of bare leads. I've marked my line, and then my neutral is uh, got a little white stripe on it. Um, we're gonna connect some leads, so I don't know. I'm gonna, the color is not, doesn't really matter, so. Um, if you start obsessing over it, it'll be, um, you know, your own fault. So we got black jumper uh, wires going to our black lead of our meter and then uh, to the, the neutral of our um, cable. And then our line voltage here is going to, uh, our line uh, is going to go to the red lead on our meter. All right, just like that. Okay, we want to set it down somewhere relatively safely where nothing's going to touch. Sometimes easier said than done, but that's not too bad right there. I want to make sure we get some separation on them. And, you know, occasionally you can throw some pliers or something in there to make sure they don't touch. But that might be overkill, but hey, whatever, right? Okay, so I got our meter hooked up. And now what we're doing right now is we want to verify on the AC scale that... Um, that we're putting out 3.25 volts AC. So I haven't turned the Variac on yet because I didn't want to um, do anything stupid. So uh, flipping it on now, all right, you can see we're doing about 3.28 volts AC, 3.29. This huge knob is the adjustment, and you can see it's pretty sensitive. If I just hit it, it just starts doing stuff. So let's just turn it barely down. 3.243, I like that, let's do that. All right, so we're gonna flip it off because we're gonna hook some more, more stuff up. So now, um, we want to put 3.25 volts AC into this transformer, okay, into the secondary on the 8 ohm tap. And what we're looking for is to make sure that um, when I flip this Variac on, the output from the Variac doesn't drop below 3.25 volts AC or, or very close to that. So the idea is as current draw goes up, voltage drops. So if this transformer were for some reason pulling current, I would expect to see um, the voltage output that I read on my meter to drop below 3.25-ish volts AC. So I don't actually have to measure current, right? I can infer by voltage, um, the voltage reading I see, what's happening current-wise. So we don't have to get super technical with it, which is nice because, um, you know, some of us are, are a little more skilled than others when it comes to that. Um, all right, so I'm, I've got my line hooked up to my yellow wire, which is my 8 ohm uh, tap on this guy. This is our comm wire here on the secondary of that transformer. So we're going to hook that up to the um, neutral of our cable here. And so if you remember, neutral's hooked up to black lead here, red lead's hooked up to line. Polarity doesn't really matter here, but, um, you know, whatever. It's nice to uh, keep it in mind at all times. All right, so what, again, a good transformer. If I flip this switch, we should just see 3.25 volts AC, and we validated uh, that the transformer is good. Well, with one caveat, but let's get to the test. All right, 3.22 volts AC, that's pretty good. If it were pulling current, I would see it drop probably below three volts AC. So um, the caveat here is that um, there could still be an issue on the four ohm or the 16 ohm tap of the secondary or an issue on the primary. But 
this is a known good transformer, right? I just got it from Mojo Tone yesterday in the mail, or a couple of days ago. So I know it's good, and really this has more to do with the bad transformer, right? That understanding that the test I did on the customer's transformer previously actually told me something valuable. So um, if you came to this video late and you didn't start from the beginning, I recommend going back to the beginning and you can see a real live used transformer that has um, crapped out on us. So thanks for taking the time to check this video out. I hope that you found it educational, informative, fun, interesting, I, I don't know, all the, the good words that mean um, I did a good job. Uh, that would make me super happy. Um, if you were into it, go ahead and, you know, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I, once again, I'm Andy Branton. I'm a pro audio repair technician, amongst other things. I have my own business here in Louisville called Commonwealth Pro Audio. You can find out more about that business and the repairs I offer and other stuff that's interesting to me at CommonwealthProAudio.com. I'm also a working musician, which is how I became a pro audio repair tech, truthfully. And you can find out more about what I've got going on as far as songwriting and live gigs and where town I'm going to be playing in, um, you know, coming up. It might be one near you if you go to andybranton.com. All this stuff's in the description of the video, though, so you don't have to worry about, you know, remembering it or whatever. Just go to the description and uh, use that copy and paste function. Um, I hope that, uh, that I see you down the road somewhere at a gig or that uh, I get an email from you saying, hey, uh, can you repair my amplifier? Thanks again.